Hey YouTubers, it's Keith. Welcome back. Today, instead of uh, broadcasting from the crypt, I thought I'd drag some books out into the light of day and give you a little glimpse of my pre-code horror collection. So yeah, all those boxes you see over there are all pre-code horror. Um, however, I really probably haven't bought but maybe one pre-code horror book in the last year. These were mainly all purchased during the 1990s, maybe some in the early 2000s, but uh, then things started getting a little too pricey for me to keep up with. Some, like I said, I buy maybe one a year now, if that, kind of treat myself at Halloween time. So let's take a quick glimpse in here. Let's see. A's, you know, Adventures into Darkness, I've covered these and on my previous channel, and I just did a... Adventures into Terror episode. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Adventures into the Unknown. There's number one, my beater. That's a big title. The rest of this box going all the way back. And you're going to have to excuse the camera work here. I've only got one free hand. Uh... All Adventures into the Unknown. This is my favorite. This is my very first pre-code horror book I ever bought. Bought it at a used bookstore that my grandpa took me to. I had no idea what pre-code horror was. I just knew this book was old and it was cool. And it started my whole pre-code horror collecting. That was probably like 1993. So yeah, all the way back here. The rest of this box, Adventures into the Unknown. There's number 60. Look, I paid $10 for that thing. Those were the days. Then moving over, Adventures into Weird Worlds. Mm -hmm. Got a pretty sizable run of that. Mm -hmm. Amazing Detective. Pretty cool title. Those are those stories. Amazing Mysteries, Astonishing, got a pretty good run of Astonishing, Beware, well let's see, yeah here's the Beware everyone wants to see, Frank Frazetta, and Sid Check. don't forget Sid Check. let's see, Beyond, I always like to be on. What else we got back here? Yeah, black cats. Black magic. Chamber of chills. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Dark mysteries. And moving on over. Alphabetically, of course. Eerie. Wow, this box is really... Stuffed full. Fight against crime. Open worlds. Dick Reaper's Frankenstein. Uh, Hand of Fate. Oh my. Kind of hard to get in here. Haunted Thrills. Journey into Fear. Yeah. Love that time. Journey into Mystery. It's there, trust me. Journey into Unknown. Or Journey into Unknown Worlds, I should say. Let's see. Good lord. Ken Shannon. I need to thin this box out. Marvel Tales. Oh yeah. Mr. Mystery. Look at the grade on that sucker. Not too bad. Hopefully it's not got too much of a layer. Mystery's weird and strange. Mysterious adventures. Moving on over. Mystery tales. I don't know. 
else is in here? Oh, yeah. Mystic. Nightmare. Out of the night. ACGs. Oh, Purple Claw. Didn't like that title. Shock Detector Cases. Anything with LB Cole covers are generally speaking the interior suck. Skeleton Hand. Stories to Hold You Spellbound. Yeah, the L LB Cole covers on their star publications are like the only draw to me. Let's see. Strange Mysteries. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Strange stories from another world. Ooh, yeah, it's a beer. Beat the complete. Strange tales. Strange terrors. Uh, strange worlds. Suspense. Got a nice run of suspense. Uh, tales of horror. These Minoan ones are not good either. I think Purple Claw was my new one. Anyways. The thing. Let's see. Man, a lot of this stuff is sticking together. Oh, here, look. Here's one that you're always going to see, like, in high grade. Nope, that's not it. Never mind. I'll save that for another episode. This magazine is haunted. Uh, yeah, yeah, Tomb of Terror, uh, Uncanny Tales, I'm just pulling these out by like the fistful, sticking together, Unseen, I usually actually take these out once a year, Vault of Horror, I don't really have um, very much original EC because I was really buying stuff uh, in reprints at the time. Voodoo, there was a Venus in there too, by the way. Uh, yeah, once a year I usually take these out at Halloween and I look through all of them. Web of Evil. This year I was a little behind on that. My kids didn't want to do it with me. Oh well. Web of Mystery. Yeah, Weird Adventures. Thrillers. Oh yeah. People will love the W's. Weird chills. Weird chills. Weird chills. There's another EC. Weird fantasy. Weird horrors. I've had multiple copies of this one here. Some hash story or something in it. Here's the weird horrors with the egg cream cover. Here's another egg cream cover down there. Oh. Weird mysteries. Nice looking book. Oh, yeah. Weird mysteries. Oh, no, no, no. Weird mysteries. Everyone loves weird mysteries. I know I do. There's a word science. Word science fantasy. Weird tales of the future. Weird terror. Love that title. It's a good title. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, trying to wrap it up here. Witchcraft, Witch's Tales. I got a whole run of Witch's Tales. Mm -hmm. Rules of Fear, got a whole run of that. That's supposed to be like a low print run. I don't know if it really is or not. Trying to wrap it up here, folks. Rules of Fear with the eyeball covers. And then this box is just random stuff I picked up and haven't got it alphabetized yet. I'll picture adventures. Baffling, Amy, Fight Against Crime, Ghost, Ghostly Weird, Marvel Tales, Marvel Tales, Out of the Shadows, Spook, Strange Fantasy, Strange Mysteries. There's a 100 pager, Strange Terrors, Unseen. Oh, and look, there's a superhero book. Freaking super high grade. Amazing Spidey 129. And there's an Alex Schomburg, Black Terror, Rockford copy. Oh, yeah, there's some more Frazetta. Anyways, hope you enjoyed this video. Cover these more in depth another time. Later.